This is going to be our ladder drill here, and uh, this is a great conditioner. This is a really good drill to do in the off season. Basically what it is, you run one line and you take one shot at the opposite elbow. Now you'll see him run two lines. So you go short side, uh, full sprint, and now your opposite elbow, boom, one shot, two shots. So two lines, two shots. Now he's going to run three lines. So one, two, three. Now he's going to take three shots, starting at the opposite elbow, good footwork, left, right going that way, inside pivot foot, right, left this way, that's two, and three. Now he's got four lines. Again, a very good conditioner. Uh, really get your legs going, really get your lungs going. Okay, four lengths, now four shots. You can tell he's getting tired. One, two, really work on his balance now. Three, most shooters that I've seen, they can shoot really good form uh, when they're not tired, when they're just out there shooting around, uh, but you really got to keep that form going. Uh, as, as you get a little winded. Now you really got to push these guys through this last one. This is, this is a tough, tough drill. I got this shooting drill from Chris Mullen. I, Chris Mullen is one of the all-time best uh, that I've ever seen uh, as far as putting, uh, incorporating conditioning into his shooting drills. So now here's five. He's got five shots. Two, three, four, and finish five. Pretty good. Pretty good job on that drill. Now one thing that we'll do, we'll go up and down the ladder uh, as these guys get in a little better shape. So we'll go up to five and then we'll go back down the ladder where we go four, three, two, and one. And that is really, really a good drill, uh, especially as you get close to practice time if you're doing this in the preseason. So again, he finished his drills. Uh, that's the third drill and now he goes right into his round of threes. So we're going to do the same thing. Make two at each spot, work your way around, and then come back with one. I like to start it on different sides as well. So you saw last time he started on the left side. This time we started him on the right uh, just to make sure, just to change up his footwork a little bit. And you see the difference now. When it's stationary, it's always left right. When he's on the move going this way, it's right left, right there. So he gives himself back, shot ready, boom. And exactly, getting himself momentum. You saw the lean right there. He did not finish that shot at all. Much better here. Okay, now he comes back with a one, coming back this other direction. Pretty good. Doing a good job stepping into it, getting himself momentum. Good. Really good on that last one. You see how he finished that shot. Okay, now goes back to the free throw line. Uh, give him five shots to, uh, to catch his breath. And again, one, this is one of the most common things I see with shooters is they really lean with that body position. That's, I think, is uh, one of the things uh, that especially young players do uh, more than anything. In fact, my kids do it. They, they really lean back. And you can see even Naz is still doing it a little bit, but he's 100% better than he was when he got here. And again, that's just because of repetition, those one-handed shooting drills that we do every day, uh, and then his uh, willingness to get into the gym and just get up a ton of reps.